Hey guys, Chris from uh, Bluegrass Media here again, WX4SAR. And tonight I am testing out a portable uh, antenna mast that I put together for the search and rescue team to improve our communications when we're on searches. Uh, so I'm going to give you a quick look at that and then we'll put it up and uh, see how it looks. Alright, so what the system contain, uh, consists of is a flagpole hitch mount that I bought off Amazon. Uh, it's for carrying flagpoles and like parades and stuff, but fits right there into my hitch receiver. And it's the perfect size for this 24 foot painter's pole. This is a 24 foot extendable painter's pole that I bought. I had to remove the lower grip for it to fit into the inserts. It's kind of hard to tell because it's dark out here, but uh, there's inserts in here. They're removable. I put the inserts in to take up the excess slack inside the tube. But in order for the, for the mass to fit, I had to remove the lower grip, uh, the lower foam grip, but it's not an issue. So up here I have... I want to say it's a jet stream, but I'm not sure. I'll have a link to all the parts in the description below. But this is a mobile to base conversion mount for a mobile NMO antenna. Allows you to use your NMO antenna as a base station antenna. And I just attached it to the top of the painter's pole with the clamps that came with it here. I got the radials on. And this yellow plastic piece, that is a tool for hanging Christmas lights. However, it also allows you to allows me to put a rope through here to hoist up a wire antenna for HF. So that's why that's on there. And the antenna I have on here is a Comet oh, Comet CA- 2x4SR NMO. It's a dual bander 3.8 dBi gain on U UHF, 6.2 dBi on UHF. Covers 140 to 160, 435, 465. And that's what I've got on top of here right now. Sorry, I got the light right in the camera there. So let's go ahead and get this thing uh, fully extended and see what it looks like. There's no wind right now, but I'll give it a little shake and let you see what happens. Okay, here we go. It's creaking a bit here. Doesn't flex that much. Trying to hold the camera still, but okay. So, if it were windy, I would only put it up, up about halfway because right now I think there's only about the this much of the pole inside of the section here. So, yeah, I'd only do about half height on each of the sections if there was wind, but it works. So, I'm going to go ahead and take everything down here and uh, get home. And I'll do a full function test on here when I get, my, get access to an antenna analyzer. So, until next time, guys, 73.